Colonel, that fox is fast. You're fighting Fox, eh, Snake? His full name is Fox McCloud. He's the leader of the Commando for Hire unit, Star Fox. They're mostly active in a galaxy known as the Lilat system. Fox and his comrades pilot all-terrain fighter crafts called R-Wings. His skills in combat can turn the tide of any battle. You seem to have a thing with foxes, don't you, Snake? No, that reminds me. First foxhound, and now this guy. I'm sick of foxes. You and foxes have a long history together. You ought to be proud. This is Snake. Copy, Snake. This is Slippy. What? Who is this? What are you, some kind of frog? Easy there, buddy. Just thought I'd hop on the wireless and give you a holler. Don't get mad. Packed right into my channel, huh? But I'm not here to mess nothing up. Don't worry. <sighs> Just so you know, Falco uses a blaster and reflector that I designed, just like Fox does. But Falco will kick his reflector and send it flying around. Just showing off if you ask me. No reason a weapon can't have more than one use. In fact, I'd say its versatility shows how well you designed it. Hey, maybe so. I feel all fuzzy now. Thanks, Snake. Maybe next time we meet, you can design me a weapon. Colonel, there's a guy in here who looks like a wolf. You mean the fighter named Wolf? Wolf. That's a real imaginative name. He's the leader of a ragtag team called Star Wolf. They're the longtime rivals of Star Fox. Kind of strange for a wolf to have friends, isn't it? Well, I don't think he works well with others. I suppose they're more like hangers-on than actual comrades. But he's a remarkable pilot, and his ship, the Wolfen, is no slouch either. But this is hand-to-hand -hand combat, Colonel. He's out of his element. Careful, Snake. Those claws of his aren't just for show. Snake, watch out! For what? That pink marshmallow? That's Kirby, also known as Kirby from Dreamland. He's from another planet. In other words, an extraterrestrial. He's got a powerful stomach that lets him swallow and digest anything. And he also has a copy ability that allows him to mimic opponents, steal their moves, and use those moves against them. On top of that, he has the power to fly around the stage. So once he's got you in his sights, there's no place to run. Huh? Yeah, got it. I'll keep an eye out. Look at the size of that hammer. That's King DDD, your fighting snake. DDD? You mean, it's not a penguin, Colonel? He's the king of Dreamland. Well, so he says anyway. Are you sure he's not a penguin? One full swing from that hammer can level an entire building. It may look like just a big wooden mallet, but it's actually outfitted with special mechanical systems like turbojets and precision bearings to boost its effectiveness. I don't think I could even lift that thing, and he's swinging it around like it was nothing. But he also leaves himself wide open. Just make sure you avoid the swing, Snake. Mei Ling. There's a mysterious masked man flying around here with a sword. That's Meta Knight. He's a knight from Dreamland. They say his sword swings can break the sound barrier. Whatever you do, don't get caught in one of his furious barrage attacks. He also commands the Halberd, a flying battleship. Mm, I've seen it. The bow looks like his mask. What kind of weirdo puts his face on the bow of a ship, anyway? Um... Maybe he's a little narcissistic. Kind of like someone else I know. Really? And who would that be? Use your imagination. Oh, how cute! What? The yellow thing? That's Pikachu. It's a Pokémon. They're popular all over the world, you know? It may look cute, but be careful. It can store up large amounts of electricity in those adorable little cheeks. It'll try to pepper you with electric shocks. Couldn't be much worse than Ocelot's old torture device. Oh, and Snake? What? I was wondering, could you maybe try and catch Pikachu for me? Please? Uh, give me a break. What do I look like, a Pokemon trainer? Fine. Sorry I asked. Pokemon trainer? That's the guy giving orders behind a Pokemon, right? 
Right. And this Pokemon trainer is controlling Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. They represent water, grass, and fire, and they're all powerful. So, he makes his Pokemon fight while he sits back and watches. Sounds like a good deal if you ask me. It's not like that, Snake. Those Pokemon wouldn't know what to do if the Pokemon trainer wasn't there giving orders. In every battle, there's a soldier doing the fighting and a commander telling him what to do. By working together as a team, they accomplish much more than either could on their own. So let's do this together, partner. Yeah, whatever you say, Colonel. You're fighting Lucario, aren't you, Snake? Mei Ling, what's that purple fire coming out of his hands? That's his aura. Aura? I guess you could call it his life force. Lucario can use his own aura and turn it into power. Every time Lucario's damage increases, his aura gains strength, making his attacks more powerful. So don't think you've got him beat just because his health is down. Ah, the cornered rat will bite the cat. Sounds like trouble. Hey, when did you become so good with proverbs? Ah, uh, you must have rubbed off on me. <laughs> well, come back in one piece, and I'll teach you all the Chinese proverbs you can handle. Ah, uh, there's a big eyeball walking around here. That's just Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff? Is that some kind of marshmallow? Jigglypuff is a balloon-shaped Pokemon. It may be light and puffy and full of air, but its sleep ability is devastating. Sleep? What's so devastating about it going to sleep? The instant it falls asleep, there's a huge buildup of energy in its center of gravity. If it hits you, it lights out for sure. So, it puts a lot of energy into sleeping. Sounds pretty irresponsible if you ask me. Takes all kinds, Snake. Especially here in Brawl. Otacon, there's a guy walking around in here, and he's only got two dimensions. That's Mr. Game and Watch. He comes from a world where everything is flat. Game and Watch was a series of portable games released by Nintendo in 1980. They were powered by large-scale integrated circuits and only had monochrome LCD displays, so characters kind of looked like the numbers on a calculator. The guy you're looking at now, Mr. Game & Watch, was a character who appeared in these games. <sighs> this is making my head hurt. Well, um, he's, uh, I mean, look, just start fighting him and I'm sure everything will make sense. <sighs> So, those two are the ice climbers, huh? Snake, have you ever heard of a blood bond? Sure. It refers to a bond between two people that's so strong they die for each other. The ice climbers have conquered frozen glaciers and dangerous mountaintops together. I think they've formed a bond that we can't even fathom. I don't know. It seems to me they'd get in each other's way fighting to see who gets to the top first. Snake, in China they say... Though brothers may quarrel at home, outside they defend each other from slight. Is that really a Chinese proverb? Even though they may get in each other's way occasionally, they'll pull together in times of need. They're an inseparable team, Snake. Don't underestimate them. That kid. Isn't that Ness? Ness? He may look like a mere boy, but don't let that fool you. He has PSI abilities that defy all scientific explanation. Hmm. Just like Psycho Mantis. Exactly. He can use teleportation, levitation, pyrokinesis, and psychokinesis. Yeah, but the question is, can he read minds? Not to my knowledge, no. Good. Then I won't have to worry about him predicting my every move. Even if he had telepathic powers, I don't think he'd use him to mess with you like that. I hear he's a good kid. I see you're fighting Lucas, Snake. Lucas? That boy has PSI powers, which he can use for different kinds of attacks. But the poor little guy's had such a hard life. His mother was killed when he was young, and he was separated from his brother. After that, he faced all kinds of senseless hardships, and he slowly grew stronger. Senseless hardships? Yeah. I had a lot of those, too. 
The question is, how you translate those hardships into a better future. Hmm. Well, I hope things turn out okay for him. <laughs>